All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install G Predict on your uh, Raspberry Pi. Now, a lot of people might use this to track satellites, obviously, but for uh, ham radio or if you're into NOAA uh, weather satellites or basically any satellite. So, we can install this using the terminal if we want, but we can also go up here, click on the uh, little pie icon here, and go down to preferences, add and remove software. Right here, we can type in G predict, hit enter, give it a second. <clears throat> And I'm using the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 for this, so. So right now, as you can see, we have two here. So we're going to select the first one. Then click Apply. Now it's asking for the password of the Pi. We'll let that stow. Like I said, you can just type in the following here on the terminal if you feel, but you don't have to. Once this is done, <clears throat> we'll just click OK. All right, so it looks like it installed. We'll just let that finish here. Then we should be able to click OK. All right, so we'll just click OK. So now if we go back up here and if we search, let me switch my setting for my VNC. I think it's really slow. So now, I put it under the education tab. So we just click on it. We'll maximize that guy. So, <clears throat> as you can see, here it is. We are up and running, but we need to do a few things. First thing, we need to update the TLE so we'll let that go we'll download it from the network and we definitely need to do this get the updated list for the satellites and whatnot as you can see that added in a couple more and you can see the numbers here so we'll close we can close that guy so we'll go to edit again preferences <clears throat> now you can change the date format if you feel, but I always just let it go. Uh, if we go to ground station, this is where you can add your location. And you can name it if you want. And then uh, you can put in the Latin long or you can select here. So we can just go down here to the U.S. We'll just pick something here. So let's just say we're at Georgia. We're there. We'll just say OK. Then it might ask for something here. There we go. So we'll just let that go. But normally what I do is I just put a dot here. If it'll allow you, but maybe not. <clears throat> so we'll just put A. Click OK. So that's the one we're going to use. So we'll click OK. 
So in order for that to take effect, we got to restart it. So let's open this back up. <clears throat> so now we should be able to click on this guy and have it work. I think it wants to be a pain. Aha, there we go. Duh. All right, we should have it now. So let me close that back down, open it back up. And there we go. We have our home there. So if we go to preference again, as you can see, it'll update it. You can change this however you feel. Now, one thing I like to do is click on the module and I always like uh, all views but uh, you can select or unselect them but you got a fair amount of different uh, layouts but like I said I, I like that one especially it works nice on a big screen so we'll just close it again and reopen it back up. Now, there we go. Now we got some action going on. But if you don't want to follow all these guys, you can uh, <clears throat> remove some of the ones that you're tracking. So if you come over here, click on this little arrow right here. Let me cancel that. Click on this. Go to configure. And as you can see, we have, uh, we can search our satellites here. And we can add and remove some. So, let's say we want to add NOAA. What, 15? So we can go there, we can hit the arrow to the right, there we go. So now if we want to add, what is it, 18, we can add that guy, and is it 17, we can add him. So now let's say you don't want to follow AO91, we can remove him. Let's say we don't want to follow that guy, we can remove him. <clears throat> so now it's only going to follow the ones that uh, we have selected. And as you can see here, <clears throat> and we can select just one particular one to kind of watch. Another cool thing is, obviously, we can do that. We can click on it, get some more information about it. Then the next satellite is going to be passing over the location that we put in 49 minutes. I know this might be hard to see in the video, but uh, you can also configure... If you have a, uh, what is it, an AZ, can't think of the other word, set up an antenna tracker, you can set that guy up with this program. Uh, and if we go over here, like I said, back to the preferences, we got some... Uh, different things here that we could set up so you know this works out nice if you work satellites or whatnot and you want something that you only want to pick up satellites that are over 20 degrees you can change all that stuff uncheck or check this then here's some more then we can uh change some colors here 
like I said, back to the modules. Change the refresh list. If you don't want to show everything, which some of this you might not want to, you don't really need to. You can change the map. So if we just click one. Let's see here. There we go. So let's just say we want that guy. <clears throat> and then you can uh, got some other uh, options. So I mean this uh, this program's pretty neat. I mean it does definitely give you some uh, good many options. So now we're gonna right click at the desktop so we don't have to keep going under there. And there we go. We updated the map. Re we restarted the software, closed it, opened it back up, and now we got the different map that we selected. So hopefully this kind of helps out to give you a little bit of an overview. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.